So the problem is we're finding the volume of the solid obtained by the rotating the region bounded by the given curves about the specific axis. Meaning we have two curves, y equals 2x and y equals x squared. Graphed here, so x squared, this is 2x, this is the region, and this is being rotated about the x-axis. So, doing this, you want to use the washer method. The formula for that is V of the bounds, so we're going to, for this problem, A to B will be from 0 to 2. This is where the region is bounded. Times integral of pi f of x squared minus g of x squared dx. So f of x is the outside function, which in this case will be 2x, because it is the farthest from the x axis, and the inside function is g of x in this case, will be x squared, because x squared is closer to the x axis. So if we're going to do this, the volume is the integral from 0 to 2, because the, this they meet up here at this point at 2, 4. So from this point we're going to do 0 to 2, the integral of pi times, like I said before, f of x will represent 2x, so 2x, this is squared, minus g of x will be x squared, so x squared, this is squared, dx. This is how you set it up in order to solve the integral. So, first thing first, I want to simplify the, the equation. So 2x squared is the integral from 0 to 2 of pi times a 4x squared minus x squared squared is x to the fourth dx. Now we're just simplifying. So the integral, actually, solving the integral, we're going to do a pi times x to the third of 4 divided by 3 minus x to the fifth over 5 plus our c. But because we are evaluating definite integral, the c is irrelevant. So we're evaluating this from 0 to 2. Now plugging in 2, this is 4, 2 cubed over 3 minus a 2. So 2 to the 5th over 5 times pi. So and then minus going to be a 0 because so this is 0 cubed will be 0 minus a 0. So this is a 0. So 2 cubed, that's 2 times 2, which is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 4 is a 32 over 3. Still got their pi there. To the fifth, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64 over 5. And then it's just simplifying, so we got common denominators and such. But essentially, this is the answer. So this is the volume of the curve area over here being around the x-axis.